Hello everybody and welcome to the Labyrinth Games YouTube channel. Today we've got a lot of packs we're gonna crack on camera. I've been kind of hoarding some expedition packs and we're gonna have some fun with that. And over the last month there's been a lot of drama in the magic world with the secret layer walking dead and with bundle packs not making it to your local LGSs which we're finally getting this week. So if you've been holding off to help support us, please stop in this week and pick that up. But other than that, we've got Hoggle is gonna be a little good luck charm today. He's gonna help us crack a bunch of fun stuff. So let's get to it, shall we? Bam. All right, so we have our good luck chop, good luck pop, Mr. Hoggle himself. He's been good luck to us. He's been giving us the best pulls that we've seen. Bam, let's make a range, shall we? Shall we, shall we? Like I said, I know there's been a lot of drama and magic recently, and um, you need to just have some fun with it, right? Um, everybody in the world is crying about something, complaining about something happening, and, you know, I understand to an extent, um, you know, back when Secret Layers came out, how magic was printing singles, basically, and everybody's complaining about it, and, you know, you just got to roll the punches, so. And when that happens, you just uh, start cracking some of these guys. So, let's get down to business, shall we? All right, first on the docket. Maybe I should have pre-ripped pre a bunch of these open. These are pretty rough to open up. Oh, we start off really good with a windswept heath. That's a good start for us. Fetch land right off the bat. I do think it's funny that uh, Wizards let shops have their first secret layer that we could sell. Only five of them. And it was fetch lands, and then they had the plan of making fetch lands anyway. So at least we got to sell one secret layer at the store. Ooh, flooded strand. Two for two. Two for two. Mm. But yeah, no, like I said, everything Wizards does, people look at under a microscope. And, you know, they've been around a long time, and they're not out to get a small LGS, even though some things look bad. Uh, Bloodstained Mire. Oh, yeah, three for three for Fetchlands. Um, you know, I know a lot of people that hate Secret Layers because it's basically Magic just printing singles. Um, and all you can do is not buy it to not support that idea, but then it just makes them worth more. So, um, if you don't buy it, because, you know, then you can't get it. Seachrome Coast. Got the first fast line. Not bad though. Three for three off of fetches right off the bat. Oh yeah. Three for three. Polluted Delta. There we go. Four out of five fetches. Four out of five. Let's keep them rolling. Um. Bunnyful Promenade. Got some. Commander Duels, as we like to call those ones. Commander Duels. No complaints there. Um, but it's interesting, though, with them going into Godzilla's, and I'll see in Godzilla's and Ikoria, and now the Walking Dead IP, you know, especially for how much Hasbro owns. Are we going to see, like, a Ninja Turtle set? Are we going to see a G.I. Joe set? You know, they can go anywhere with this now at this point. Back-to-back -back Bonneville Promenades. What? Um, it'll be interesting. Uh, they have the D&D set coming out, which is awesome. I have preached for a D&D set for like 10 years now, so um, especially uh, since D&D is so popular. Spire Garden, triple, triple back to back to back, Commander Duel Lens. Um, with D&D being the most popular it has ever been, there's not a perfect time for them to make its way into magic, so I'm very excited about that. Blackleaves Cliffs. I'll just get a little better opening. I grab from the seam. Grab from the seam. Morphic pool. Oh, four, four, two. I gotta get two more of these to make it a four, four, four split. Four, four, four split. Do, do, do. Oh, misty rainforest. No, the fetch lands take take the lead. Come on, man. Let's keep these fetches rolling. Come on, hogs. Hogs, magogs. Windswept Heath, double Windswept Heath. Won't complain about that. Um, every Christmas, we at the Labyrinth Games do a special homemade cube. Um, thanks to Levi for making it, but it's a Star Wars cube, and we've done it every year, and playing Star Wars Magic has been pretty fun. So, triple Windswept Heath, back to back to back. That's crazy. Um, so playing, like, when, when the D&D &D set comes out, it's probably going to have a feel like that, where you're, like, you're playing Magic, but it's got a feeling of something else. You know. What a strand, what a strand. We're getting ahead on the fetch lines here. Good job, Poggles. Poggles gave me some luck. 
Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing some other crazy IP stuff. I mean, as long as it doesn't all come in secret layer form and, you know, dodge your local LGSs, I'd love to see um, the continuation of, like, the Godzilla type cards and sets. Copper Line Gorge. Copper Line Gorge. Yeah. Come on, we can do it. You're better than these packs. Come on. You're better than these packs. You can do it, man. Yeah. This pack is super sealed. Super sealed. Aaron Mesa. Woo! Look at all of those fetches, man. Fetches are far ahead of the game. Way ahead of the pack. Um, I'm glad they brought fetches back, though, because it would have been... Um, they would just be super expensive with how popular Commander is and everybody needing Spire Garden. Um... Needing them, they're always going to be worth money. Even like I said, we've we had them reprinted in a box set now, plus this set, plus two other times now. Some of these have been reprinted, and they're still super, super sought after. They're just good in every format. Luxury sweet. Let's get those commander duels, you know. And uh, because the reserve reserve, reserve list, we're not gonna we're definitely not gonna see any duel ends anytime soon, you know. We break that reserve list, wizards. But if they did that, it would clearly be secret layer, and people would just not have to support your local LGS because of that. Ooh, our first mainland. The first mainland pokes his head out with a creeping tar pit. Um, there's still things you can do to support your LGS for the secret layers, though. Um, Pluto Delta. Ooh. I know there's a, a local that always comes by, and he will buy them from the store regardless of, like... And obviously we make our markup because we have to pay exactly what you guys pay, so... Um, he'll come by and buy it from the store no matter what, regardless, because he always supports the lab, which is awesome. Horizon Canopy, ooh, um, which is good. Or another cool idea to have is, uh, oops, that, one's, oh, that one's ripped open already. What was that? Aaron Mesa, um, uh, he'll buy his own uh, secret layers online and then he'll stop by the store and literally just give me 10 bucks and be like, hey man, I wish I could have bought this from you, but I had to buy it online. So, you know, there's tons of things you can do to support your LGSs for the secret layers. Um, Strip mine. Now we're off into the Oddlands. We had a streak of all of these. Now we're starting to hit the Oddlands. So, um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's tons of stuff you can do. So, um, yeah. The Walking Dead, like with everybody talking about that one recently, that's the most most recent drama talk. Black Leaf Cliffs. is because it's one of the first sets in secret layer, layer form that you can actually play in tournaments in certain formats. And like, um, other cards that weren't reprinted in sets, kind of like box toppers, when people were complaining about box toppers. Celestial Colonnade, two mainlands. Um, but most box toppers were terrible, so it never really got any traction, except for the one from like the core edition, you could take an extra turn. And then suddenly there's a bunch of drama with that one, because then it was the, the quality of the foils were terrible on the cards, so they would warp. And like, oh, this card only comes in foil form from a box topper. <sighs> Buzzed my Man, Hoggle is just... How was my good luck charm? Man, look at that. Fetch lands are just enormous compared to the rest. Um, so yeah, so it's interesting um, with the secret layer being the only way you could get a card that's legal for certain formats is what making people go crazy over it. Um, and most of the time you buy one of them because you play Commander, so you only need to buy one box set. But with ooh, strip mine number two, um, with them being tournament playable, now you need up to four to like Rick Grimes. Um, so you'd have to go out and spend 200 bucks on box sets just to get the four Rick Rams that you want to play in tournaments. Wasteland. Now we're blowing up all the non-basics. Strip, strip, waste. All right, guys, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We busted these open pretty quick. Let's keep on rolling, rolling, rolling. Check the camera here. Bam. Looks like we're good up here. Ooh, Razor Verge Thicket. Razor Verge Thicket. Um, but yeah, uh, then you had what Bad Boy Gaming he did. He does his like box openings, and recently his big rant about uh, going to five or three LGSs and not finding a single bundle pack because us LGSs can't get them. But you can go to Amazon or Walmart and get them nonstop, um, which is pretty amazing. Horizon Canopy, Ooh, double canopy. So hopefully they get the stuff situated and fixed. I understand COVID and shipping has issues, but it's just you know that doesn't sound like the shipping issues. It sounds like there's allocation issues. You know, us, L us LGSs don't deserve uh, bundle packs, apparently. Uh, Black Leaves Cliffs. Bam. Let's keep on rocking. Keep on rocking and rolling. 
Uh, Valakut, the Pinnacle, Pinnacle. I'm super ecstatic about these box offers so far. These have been amazing, just amazing. Whoa. Prismatic Vista, ooh, that's gorgeous looking. That's super gorgeous looking. Uh, I'll just put that up there for now. We're almost to the double bastards box toppers, so we'll see how they go. All right. Come on, Hoggle, let's finish off with some fetches here. Come on, Hogs, Eared Mason. Eared Mason number three. Eared Mason number three. Social Colony number two, three man lands. We've only got three man lands out of these. That's kind of amazing. Uh, man lands have dropped in price big time. And one of the big ones was Social Colony, but that's dropped to the most because it's seen a ton of reprints. So, uh, Wasteland. Double Wasteland, double strip mine. All right. So it looks like we're on to double master's box toppers. Let's see what kind of goodies we get out of these. Uh, but now, now more than ever, guys, that's these are the times that you need to help support your local LGSs. Um, I know a product is hard to find. Ooh, Sword and Feast and Famine Urs is mine for it. Um, but now, like I said, it's, it's help get over there. Buy some stuff from them. Support them. I know with a limited quantity of stuff, it's hard for them to get stuff in for you. And prices have been a little higher than usual. But always support your LGS. Stay away from Walmart. Stay away from online buys. We appreciate it. Keeps us going. Bam. Brainstorm sort of body and mind. Sword, sword. Sword, sword, sword. All right, let's get the sword sword effect in now. Let's get all the swords. Oh, Battle Spell Academy runes. One equipment per pack. Let's keep them going. One equipment per pack. One equipment per pack. Blood Moon Dark Confidant. Ooh. Mr. Bob himself. Not the real Bob, but the new art Bob. Blood Moon. That's, oh, that looks so gorgeous. I love that one in foil. I mean, Blood Moon just always looks good no matter what Blood Moon it is usually. So, all right. Speaking of any locals, I'm not sure what's going to happen come, come December when we do our Star Wars cube. If anybody's interested in it, we'll see. Oh, Force of Will. Yeah. Woo. That's awesome. Um, again, I'm not sure if we'll have any open play come that time frame. We'll see. But I'd really like to not miss that. We've done it three years in a row on Star Wars Cube. Bam. Lightning Greed's Noble Hierarch. Oh, there you go, Echoes. I got a Noble Hierarch for you. Next time you're in the store. Crack that Hierarch. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. All right. Oh, yeah. Thought sees Mana Crypt. Oh, oh, that one's a huge one right there, guys. That one's massive. All right, so getting down to the nitty gritty. Stoneforge Mystic Academy Runes. Looks like we had a double runes, yeah. But Stoneforge Mystic, that's always a good pull. And I'm not gonna open up this last pack because I'm gonna be giving this pack away. Um, how to win this pack right here is you have to comment in the video down below um, what's your favorite card from this pull was today? Um, mine is Stoneforge Mystic because that is just the best way to finish uh, a pack opening is with this guy. I love his art um, and I love the swords in the set, but there's just something about this art on the Stoneforge Mystic that I love. So it's a perfect ending to this. Uh, but yeah, comment down below what your favorite card in this pull was. Um, share the video. And then uh, at the end of the week, I will pick a random comment down below and you will get a pack of Double Masters. Toolkit or topper, box topper thing. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Um, to all the people who supported me through COVID, you guys rock. You're awesome. Always support LGS as much as you guys can. We appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. And I'll see you on the next episode here. Yeah.